Santa Barbara County Supervisors voted to help fund two little homes in Lompoc. The homes will be for homeless single moms. They're different than tiny homes because these are permanent fixtures. KSBY News reporter Melissa Newman has more on where these homes will be built. Karina, I'm here outside of what's known as Mark's House. It's a transitional facility owned by Good Samaritan and now in the backyard here, two little homes are going to be installed to help give homeless families a new outlook on life. But some are questioning if more needs to be done to help the homeless in Lompoc after several people are now moving back into the riverbed. Coming soon to this backyard, little homes with potentially a big impact on homeless families in Lompoc. This would change someone's life because they would be able to get out of a shelter and get off the streets and they would be able to, you know, be able to provide their child with a stable environment to raise them in. On Tuesday, Santa Barbara County Supervisors voted to give Good Samaritan a forgivable loan of nearly $200,000 to purchase two little homes and install them in Lompoc off North End Street. The homes will serve up to six people, with preference being given to single moms. Our shelter systems in both Santa Maria and Lompoc are full and our priority is families first, so it can be challenging getting people into services. Um, I know that there's a lot of um, coordinated services and everyone's working together to try and um, be able to get more people that are unsheltered into the shelters. Well, this is a step in the right direction for helping the homeless in Lompoc. Mayor Janelle Osborne says conversations addressing homelessness in the city pretty much stopped once funds were allocated to clean up the riverbed without plans to maintain the work. It's an ongoing issue. It's not something I believe that will ever be solved as much as opportunities created for those who desire to transition out of that um, period of their lives into something more helpful. And that requires investment in time and personnel and money as well. Tiny homes, the more mobile version of what's going to be installed here is something Mayor Osborne says could help the homeless community, but right now they're not allowed due to the city zoning ordinance. That could change, however, when the ordinance is revisited next month. In Lompoc, Melissa Newman, KSBY News. Good Samaritan estimates the new little homes will be up in about six to eight months. The county says if Good Samaritan uses the home solely for housing the homeless for the next 15 years, the loan will be forgiven. Well,